Today we're going to turn this into this. This project is made from a 10 foot 2 by 6. If you cut it right and glue it together, cut it down into four pieces with 45 degree angles on each one of those pieces, you'll make the basis of this project, which is essentially a box. After that, you need to build a drawer, a couple of slides, not really that big a deal. So I was having some trouble with my 45s and did what I'd always do if I went to YouTube. Uh, I found a video by a guy named The Rare Craftsman. He had a pretty awesome jig used to cut 45 degree angles. And I pretty much made that jig uh, with a couple of differences. Um, I did not have uh, the same stuff that he had in terms of clamps. And so I had to kind of make do with what I had. Um, I also didn't install a runner, which in the end kind of helped out because I was able to use it for my splines and you'll see that later. So a couple cool things happened today. Uh, one, got a bunch of new wood. That's always a good thing. And I didn't have to pay for it, so that's even better. Uh, the other cool thing that happened today is I realized that this jig uh, that I was using to cut my 45s, I think I can turn it and then I can also use it to cut my splines. And so, yeah, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna turn it this way. And you can see I've got it kind of tilted up here. And yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna run across there. I'll turn the blade down. Or, not turn the blade down, but I'll lower the blade down. I'm gonna cut those splines and then those are gonna be reinforcement because uh, these are not the best 45s that I've ever done. There are some gaps in some places. And so we're gonna fill that, we're gonna make it look good and then we're gonna reinforce it with some things. And this is kind of practice. Um, I'm gonna be doing a bigger project later with some stuff and I wanna make sure that I can use these skills 
when it comes time for the real deal. So it's like everything else. If you don't practice, you suck. This is my first attempt at doing any kind of spline work. I think it went pretty well. Um, some of the splines were super tight. Some of the splines were super loose. I think that's just something you kind of learn uh, with more experience. And once I dial my jig in and my saw in, I think it'll become a better process in the future.
So that really the end of the project, I'm still gonna fly fish. Unfortunately, it's also gonna be a big white, which is why you guys spent a lot of time on these different kinds of lines. But it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna practice look. But I think it turned out really good. Your rope is nice, clothes is nice, the fit is pretty good. And the other encompasses the outlet, and it's all of the electrical is going to be uh, in that spot. So in terms of like, it versus the bed, you know, plenty of space on these, which I like. You can actually do all those things. Uh, so, new part of the show. Here it is. <laughs> things I would do different next time. I build a lot of stuff one time and then I move on to something else. So I don't really ever build like a batch of something. And uh, if I do ever make another one of these, which I think I will, I think I'll end up making two for my bedroom. But if I do it again, one thing, I'm gonna spend a lot more time on these. Uh, thank you to the Rare Craftsman. Uh, check out his channel. He, uh, he had a nice jig, 45 degree jig, which I ended up being able to multi-purpose and use for this spline right here which was a happy accident and then these splines right here as well so i'm just practicing that i don't want to break anybody's heart but it doesn't matter this one's getting painted white to match this right here anyway so like i said earlier it's just practice whatever uh, other things i think i would do again or do differently the next time around is <laughs> probably use a little higher quality wood because the sanding and the cutting, there's tear out with pine. Um, but again, you know, for, oof, I don't know, $40, probably $40 worth of material. I got two of these and I see these on Etsy and I know they're made of nicer wood, but like 300 bucks, something like that. And this is in a kid's room. They're gonna do all kinds of things to this and wreck it up and stuff, so. I don't think it's that big a deal to give it a try. If it doesn't work, I can make it out of a harder wood later on. But again, it's about acquiring skills. Keep going. Thank you for watching.